Do you ever spend hours trying to manually create your timestamp in your YouTube videos? In this video, I'm going to show you a quick and easy way that you can create timestamps using ChatGPT, where you can create timestamps for your YouTube videos literally within seconds. So if we go over to ChatGPT, I'll just copy and paste the transcript here. If you're interested in learning more about how you can get the transcript from your YouTube video, check out this video here and I'll include a link in the description below. Now that we've added our transcript, we're just going to type in our prompt. The prompt that I've typed in is I want to create a timestamp for a YouTube video starting with zero seconds at the intro and then highlight the key steps in the process. Now I specifically called out that I want the format to be in minutes and seconds followed by the topic and I've given an example here. So let's hit enter. And within seconds, ChatGPT has given me a timestamp based on key points here. So let's copy this over to our YouTube description. And hit save. Now let's scroll down to the timestamp and listen to the video and show you some features on how you can build an effective virtual So here I've clicked on to logging into Microsoft Copilot and it looks like timestamp is out. And if we just click on another one, editing the greetings message. What you wanna do when you set up your AI agent is to change your greeting message to edit the greeting. So the timestamp for the greetings message is spot on. So let's have a listen to another one. Publishing the AI agent button here. Before we publish and release the agent, let's have a look at the security settings by clicking on the settings button over here. So that's also spot on in terms of identifying the timestamp based on the content of the video. So while ChatGPT has done a good job in terms of identifying the timestamps and writing the description, it might be worth double checking the details. So let's go back to ChatGPT and do another example. So continuing on with a similar prompt like we did before in terms of specifying the format. I've also included a list of topics that I want to include as part of my timestamp. So let's hit generate. So again, within seconds, ChatGPT has given me a timestamp based on the topics that I've mentioned earlier. So let's copy this text and paste it in our YouTube description. And now let's scroll down to the timestamp and listen to the video. We're gonna be using Microsoft Copilot Studio. So look Now, one of the first things you want to do when you set up your AI agent is to change your greeting. You can now add this one to your website or intranet site or various other communication platform. So ChatGPT has done a really good job in terms of identifying the timestamp based on the topic areas. So earlier I created this timestamp manually. Now, if we compare it against the ChatGPT version, you can see here where I highlighted in green ChatGPT was 100% spot on and where the timestamp is highlighted in orange, it's probably only a few seconds out, but it's definitely a lot quicker creating timestamps using ChatGPT versus doing it manually. Thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you next time. Bye for now.